Alright guys, so here is my set for my flexi rods the night before. You just saw me show you my Organics Coconut Oil. I put a few squirts in my hair, but they actually weren't full squirts. I had the nozzle turned so that it only squirts just a little bit so I don't get too much. I'm putting that through my ends because I do that every night. So tonight is no different. And then I got a little bit more so I could make sure I get it through my front pieces and my bangs because I do have layers. And I want to make sure I get all of my ends. So now you see me finding my part for the next day. So that way I can put my curls all in the right direction. Now I'm just combing my hair out to make sure that I don't have any tangles in my hair before I curl them up. So I am separating my bangs because I do not curl them with the flexi rods because they're so small. I don't like them to be really tight, small curls randomly in the front of my head. I will curl those in the morning with a curling iron. So I went ahead and separated a piece and I am just wrapping my hair around. I'm starting a little further from the end now so I can make sure I get all the ends wrapped around. So then you'll start to see me roll the flexi rod towards my head. And I am rolling the flexi rod back towards my head, not to the front because that's the direction that I want my curls going in. So depending on the direction you want your curls going in is the way you want to roll the flexi rod. And then you see once I got all the way to my root, I went ahead and bent each end towards each other so it will stay. I'm only getting about a half inch section for each piece of hair so they aren't too thick so that way I don't have uh, big pieces that don't curl as well. If you have too much hair in the flexi rod then they don't curl as well so I don't want to have to curl too much of my hair with the curling iron because the point is to use as little heat as possible. If you would like bigger curls. Um, I don't necessarily need to get bigger flexi rods. I can also just leave my flexi rods in for less time. So for my other video I said that I left my flexi rods in for 12 hours but in my winter of the date or <laughs> winter date night outfit you'll notice that my curls are bigger in that and it's because I only left the flexi rods in for about five or six hours. Maybe five to seven hours, I'm not sure. But that's pretty much it for how I'm going to curl my hair. So now I've just fast forwarded so you guys can see the process. So as you can see, I am about to wrap up. I'm only doing the last few pieces. And I have to admit, for me, doing the last few pieces is something where I have to remind myself not to get too big of pieces because that's when I start to want to go ahead and just wrap up and get it done. The process only takes me about 15 minutes, but I can become impatient and want to start moving on to other things. I'm 
setting my last flexi rod. I will not wrap my hair for the night because the flexi rods stay just fine for me. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.